It's A-State versus UCA, an in-state rivalry. What more can you ask for on your Saturday for football? And the last time these teams played was in 2016, and UCA captured their program's first FBS win. So let's see if A-State can get a little taste of victory and of vengeance. Sun Belt versus Southland. Yeah, FBS versus FCS, both hailing from the natural state. The third opponent in this game was Hurricane Delta. Rain and gust made for a sloppy start, backed up, the Bears botched the snap, and the Red Wolves get on the board with a safety. UCA up 3-2 after one quarter, but A-State turns up the heat in the second. On a fourth down in the red zone, Lane Hatcher lasers one in to Jonathan Adams, snagged, scored, Red Wolves up 9-3. And so in drive for UCA, Braylon Smith is picked off. Sammy Johnson, have yourself a pick six. UCA fighting back as Smith finds his man for six, but A-State won't relinquish momentum. Just before half, Hatcher hits Brandon Bowling, Bowling hits pay dirt. A crazy athletic score gives the Red Wolves a 23-10 lead heading into half. And coming out of the locker rooms, A-State picked up where they left off. Two touchdowns early in the third, Logan Bonner to Dahu Green, and Hatcher hitting Jonathan Adams. Red Wolves out in front big and would hold on to that lead. A-State tops UCA in this one, 50 to 27. Head coach Blake Anderson says it's a big way to bounce back from last week's loss to Coastal Carolina. Feels good to get a win, I'll be honest with you. You know, just improvement from a week ago. The energy level was tremendous all week. It was tremendous before the game started. The environment of the game with the wind and the rain created some problems early. Just a little bit to just kind of make it sloppy, but really proud of how the guys responded. You know, 27 to nothing kind of run, and that's that was huge. To get points against the wind, uh, both in the second and third quarter, that was huge. Impose our will a little bit in the throw game, which is not easy on a day like today.